Hi, I'm, I'm Nick Lohman. Um, I collect Churchill memorabilia. I've been collecting it now for 50, nearly 50 years. A friend of mine phoned me one day to say that uh, he was a, a, with a lady and, and she said she had a lot of memorabilia from her husband who served on Churchill's aeroplanes for two years. Not many people seem to realise that Churchill had his own aeroplanes. I certainly didn't. I knew he obviously flew around, but that was with the general fleet of VIP aeroplanes. But he specifically had a, had one, and it was the most um, luxurious plane the world had ever seen. Although the world didn't see it because it was it was kept under wraps all the time. Well, the first aeroplane he had was a, a converted Lancaster bomber which was a York, and it was named Ascalon. Ascalon he had for about a year, when it was superseded by a Skymaster from America. This one was on Len Lease. Dick Boise was the steward on Churchill's plane, and one of the things he did, he kept a, a small diary, which is part of the collection that I've got. Churchill's first thing normally, he wanted a bowl of soup when he arrived on the plane. Turtle soup was his favourite. But uh, uh, but he started work as apparently Boise says in his articles that uh, Churchill, as soon as he got aboard, bowl of soup and then he just wanted to get started work right away. And then he'd have a few drinks and carry on late into the night. So he was uh, fairly close to the not that he had a lot of conversation with him, but he, he did see all of his um, traits. Churchill let Lady Churchill take his aircraft to Russia. Lady Churchill was in charge of the um, Aid to Russia Fund, which raised over seven and a half million pounds in the war, which was a huge amount of money. And she was invited over to see where the money had gone to the schools and orphanages and so on. And Dick Boise, was in the crew that took her over. She was over there for five or six weeks. And in it, in that, in the diary is the day VE Day was announced, but sadly Mrs. Churchill was in Russia. Winston Churchill had phoned her to beg her to come back to share, share his um, triumphant day, but she said no, she couldn't because she felt obliged to see through her itinerary with the Russian people. So they all lived, they all watched or listened, listened rather to Churchill's speech, VE Day at the Russian embassy with Mrs. Churchill, uh, which is in all recorded in, in Dick Boise's diary. And the next day they were invited to the Russian Bolshev Ballet to watch Swan Lake, which Mrs. Churchill went, and also Dick Boise and the rest of the crew were invited. And it's all in this, his diary, and also in the book that Mrs. Churchill at the end of the trip gave the steward a book about a mission to Russia with a little signature in the front, and also a thank you card thanking the two stewards for all their help signed by Mrs. Churchill. So it's a pretty unique piece of history. Churchill also gave all of the crew a signed photograph of himself, uh, the ones who'd been with him for the two years, which is a nice memory for him. After the war, obviously, these planes were, were surplus to requirements. Uh, Churchill's first one, Ascalon, went back into the pool for VIP use and carried on. It was mothballed for a short period and then it went to the Far East for a while. But in 1954, it was scrapped and used for spares. So that plane is no longer exists. Uh, the Skymaster was part of Len Lease. So that was returned to America where um, there were so many surplus sky masters that nobody really wanted it. Uh, it was flown to China on a mission uh, where it got in a slight accident, slight damage, and 
they decided to leave it there as there were so many Sky Masters and that one was scrapped in China. So it was a sad end to both aircraft that both of them are no longer. Well, I think the collection would be pretty good for any museum or person who's interested in aircraft. They're both famous aircraft, which uh, not many people know about. So I'm sure there'd be quite a few people um, interested in that type of thing, especially with all the information I've got. It would be uh, quite a collection for anybody. They'd certainly have a piece of um, Churchill and wartime history, which is pretty unique as far as I can find out. So hopefully somebody's out there who might be interested to keep it going and enjoy it like I have.